Now, last week was all about budget Ryzen-based laptops that cost well under $500 but deliver very good performance. And the one thing I didn't do was kind of a roundup of the week and what I thought of what we looked at. And a viewer wrote in by email asking me to do just that and also asking me to consider the AMD Slim that we looked at as well. And I have to say, after looking at those three from this prior week, although the prices are very reasonable on them and they had more RAM, I think that Acer Slim is still the best of the bunch. And I've got a playlist linked down below in the video description where you can find the reviews for all four of the Ryzen laptops we've looked at so far. Uh, but the Acer really does win out, uh, partly because it performs consistently, but also it has the best upgradability of the ones that we looked at. Uh, the Dell that we looked at does have a similar configuration, but the performance wasn't there. This one performs very well and has the RAM uh, socketed in two positions, so you can swap out both sticks of RAM uh, versus the others that had one stick essentially soldered onto the board and the other one uh, accessible to you there. Uh, the Acer also had the space for the uh, SATA drive, so you can put in an SSD there and, of course, the NVMe slot down here. And that one really is, I think, again, the best of the bunch on the Ryzen's. Uh, this was a Ryzen 3 based machine, but it performed very close to what we saw out of some of the Ryzen 5s that you'll find at around the same price point. Again, I was really blown away by just how different these laptops perform from each other, given that when we look at the Intel machines, they all seem to perform roughly the same. Uh, these, again, are wildly different. So I think if you're looking to buy one of these, uh, that Acer is the way to go. Uh, just note, though, that you will have to get the second stick of DDR4 RAM to make it happen. On the Amazon page, if you scroll down towards the bottom, they have a recommended RAM module to go with it. That might be the one you pick up. But if you are looking to buy one of these, I think the Acer Slim 5 is still the best. This channel is brought to you by the Lon.TV supporters, including Gold Level supporters, the Four Guys with Quarters podcast, Tom Albrecht, Rajesh, Logic GR, and Kalyan Kumar. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash support to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.